Okay, things have been good for so long. I have a bad feeling that this is finally the time for things to get worse. Or I'm just horrendously pessimistic and it's this show's fault for making me that way. But ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack the Bus. We have Kings and Swords from Vinland Saga today. And I'm wondering if Kings is even referring to Ketil going to visit King Harald, who now, as we know, is dying or may have already died at this point. Who knows? But that might be honestly our connection with Canute in terms of Thorfinn, because I really don't know how they're going to intertwine. And because it seems like it really does want to keep following Canute and sort of his journey and his mindset gonna hop into this if you're new to the channel make sure you drop a sub and let's get started kings and swords i like the way they do uh like the titles in the show majesty and wolf oh, like canute oh yeah canute fighting for real for real oh shoot we're still following him oh my gosh never mind i thought it was gonna be like a a, a little check-in last time oh dang he's getting bodied God, he looks cool with some armor on. Okay, he's becoming more of a fighter, though. Look at all the scratches and stuff on him. Obviously, he's gotten beaten up a little bit. <laughs> They're just sparring. It's okay. Surely he doesn't get stabbed on accident or anything. Can't stand Gunner. He's just not the same as his brother. So, Princess Estrid. So she's actually related to Canute, no? Yeah, I guess so. She's a princess and she said brother. So it's Canute versus Wolf. And barely, bro. Yeah, training with the real swords is, is so sketch, but like that's how that's skilled they are. He's a different man now. They're gonna listen to a leader that's strong and can fight. Yep. Canute's been told that for a while. He wants to be if it makes him stronger. Yeah, look at his shield. So obviously he does get beat down quite a bit. His armor too, it's all cut up. He's getting more tired. <laughs> Bro's tired. What can he do? When these soldiers see like who their king is and he's fighting, getting beat and getting tired and backing down, they lose faith in him. What does Estrid have to do with this? Ah, he's, he's getting, he's pushing his buttons a little bit. He said, you have a crush on, on my sister. Just a slip of the tongue. A man beside her. He's trying to distract them. No way, he actually looked! No way! Oh, he threw the shield to distract. Dang, Canoe. Oh my gosh. He's a little rascal. Wow. That was that was snake-like. He was baiting him in. Not bad, not bad. I could do better. I could not. I lied. I'm a liar. As soon as possible, he tosses his weapons down and takes off the armor. Doesn't even wait for anything. Yeah, just chucked it down. The matter you asked me to investigate. Hmm. Dude, he's got a glow up. The hair looks great. Squeeze. Oh, he's talking about money they're getting from people? Raise taxes on the population. Oh, shoot. He's gonna, he's gonna have to make some tough choices now. Oh! Yeah, because Kenzel was giving money to the right or not right. Oh, hi. oh my god, he's gonna visit in person. No way. No way. Maybe that's a connection. Yeah, being crowned king and then raising taxes is disastrous. Mm -hmm. Well, Ketzel was headed there, no? Regardless? An urgent pro He inherited an urgent problem, it seems. Mm. And how much money was Ketzel giving? That's that big of a deal that he does. And squeezing funds from Denmark over to England? They won't like that. Oh, and downsize his army, less protection and whatnot. Mm. Taking it taking farms and stuff mm, wait it is connecting farms that people like oh my gosh there'd be backlash for requisitioning land 
Oh, shoot. He's, he's going to, like, take Ketel's farm? A Canute's smart. He wouldn't do that if he ha didn't have to. He doesn't want to try an army. That's less protection. Because he's in his head now about someone coming after him. Yep. Mm -hmm. The king is the sword, the army is the shield. Kind of. Because the sword is what makes the choices on like where everybody goes, who dies, who attacks. He makes the attacks and then his his army defends him. Oh my gosh. But I see the connection it could make. Him reacquisitioning Ketzel's land, taking the farm over. But I still don't see because Thorfinn won't want as much of a connection with like being a warrior or anything like that anymore. So I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe they reunite and Canute sees how much he's changed and like looks within himself. <gasps> oh, oh shoot. He never did, yeah. I bet he's gonna meet with Canute then. <laughs> he didn't either. <laughs> Rest in peace. Mm -hmm. Damn, bro. To travel that far? Dude, poor Ketzel. He's trying so hard. Oh, he serves Canute directly? Oh, shoot. He's gonna want to go meet with him. And he has a connection through his son, too. He needs protection again. Surely his son would, right? Okay. But I mean, the, the bad thing is, is Canute just gonna take his farm? He doesn't know, he doesn't have the perspective of that. Oh, Omar came? Oh no, what is he gonna do? And you let him go? <laughs> Bro's treating him like a toddler. Yeah, he's 20. <laughs> <laughs> he acts like a child. At least he's self-aware about that. Oh, no. Gotten into a fight. Oh, yeah, probably. I don't know. I think the whole thing with Thorfinn humbled him a little bit. Oh. I take it all back. Who's he ruffling with? Oh, Omar. Dude, he ruined his cloth. Dude, I thought he had been humbled a little bit. Oh my gosh. Dude, the sweet, I like this art style. It's like so lighthearted. Bro drew his sword. Dog, you're so weird, Omar. Nah, you're so weird, bro. Ugh. Bro, you have never harmed a hair on anybody's head. He acts so tough. Oh, nah. Dude, this is how I picture people talking in JoJo's. This is how they pose, bro. Oh, my gosh. It'd be hard. <laughs> Damn! He said, you use daddy's money. Oh, this is... Oh, this is rough, bro. In front of all the townsfolk. I said at least Kettle's aware of it, but it'd be hard not to be. Yeah, thank you. Bro, Kettle's such a good guy. Oh, gosh. It's probably like 50 times what he would have gotten for the cloth. <laughs> Bug eyes. Oh, is that his dad? No way, both dads are stepping in. <laughs> no way. No. Is that Leif? No way. This is Leif Erikson's son. <laughs> what is happening? What is going on? He has a child? I'm so sorry, microphone. Oh, adopted. Okay. I was like, damn. He grew up. Look at his face. He named him Thorfinn. Wait, no, he's adopted. Wouldn't he have already been named? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Bro said he likes Thorfinn more than his actual son. Hmm. その<笑> 
Oh, shoot. Wait, this is big. He's like asking his whole backstory. Wait, what happened with me? Did he think he was Thorben? Oh my gosh, that's how he like ended up adopting him. This is like the crossing of two worlds. This is insane. Yep. And he's soon to be free. Wait, this is perfect. They can bring him with them. Oh my gosh. They can just go to Ketzel's farm. Yeah. Oh my gosh. No way. Tell me it happens this episode. Bro, Thorfinn's facial expressions are so funny. Yeah, how far is it? Five days. Dude, so he's just going after different Thorfinns? This is actually him. Oh, he's gonna have to go just with Kettle, maybe? Oh, shoot. No, meeting with Canute now, I think. Mm -hmm. Or because Canute wanted to meet with him, anyways. He has no idea. Oh, no. Is he really gonna take his farm? Kettle's so proud of his farm. Behave, Omar! Yep! Bro is probably gonna pull a sword on uh, Canute. Why does he have a skull belt, bro? You're just not intimidating. Oh, this is so weird. I accept them. Say thank you, Canute. Manners. Oh, he's so nervous. Look how much he brought, man. No intention of unnecessarily changing things, but necessarily. Okay. Okay. Saved? Maybe he's reacquisitioning the soldiers there. No, no. What are you doing? Omar, bro, what are you doing, you clown? Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. I'm gonna throw up. Omar is so fucking embarrassing. He's drawing a sword in front of the king! You moron! I can't, bro. I can't. He's such a failure! Let's see how he handles a sword. <laughs> Wait, it's crazy. Is this the room where his dad died? Wait, I didn't think about it. That's the throne room. Oh my gosh. Wait, he wants him to cut the meat? Oh, he will not be able to cleave it very well. Bro's gonna be scared to even kill a dead pig. One arm dog. Get to look so scared. <laughs> So like, is the king under attack? Oh, bro is absolutely obliterating his meat. Pause. Is he barely cutting into the pig? Oh my God, he's such a loser! Such a loser! Oh my gosh! Oh! For the sake of everyone's safety, say no! <laughs> yeah, seriously. Bro's crying. I feel kind of bad, though. He just wants to be like his brother. Oh, Omar. Oh, buddy. Oh, Brian, no skill. <laughs> Usually, yep. He's gonna say yes regardless, though. I don't know why. Oh. Oh. They could form him into the soldier that they want. He's a blank canvas. Uh huh. The plan. Hmm. Interesting. Dude, what is he gonna do? Canute! Oh! No! 
And then, oh my gosh, they will have leverage over him because they will have his son in their army. I mean, not like Kentel is going to like wage a war against against Canute, but like, oh no, this is so sad. Kentel is so nice. Oh my gosh, the fact that Omar is such a key point in all of this. And supposedly, like I said, I think it is sort of leverage for both of the sons being in the army. Kentel has absolutely zero idea. That's why he was very careful with his words in that meeting though, uh, Canute. He said, I wouldn't unnecessarily change anything so he's gonna change things and say this is necessary and while it is he could have gone a million other directions with it i think well not a million but a lot oh my gosh the, and leif ferrickson knowing where where thorfinn truly is and is another like stack on this was a big episode bro a huge episode and the fact that canute is going to requisite re is it requisitioned the farm that thorfinn was about to own a part of the land of like it is so full circle it's insane Canute is about to take land from his former friend who saved his life over time and time again, who is the reason that he is now king. Like my mind is blown. It's, it's incredible how they connected all these little lines. And now we have the back half of the season to see how it all sort of connects and goes down. I love it. But that's been it for Kings and Swords. Let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below and I'll catch you next time. Peace, peace.